Okra or lady's finger is a warm season vegetable of the mellow family. It is a fruit but comes into use as a vegetable. Every part of the okra plant is helpful, including the leaves, stem, pods, buds, flowers, and seeds. Okra comes in red and green colors, but green is the more commonly consumed variety. The younger pods are soft, juicy, and sweet in flavor, while the matured pods have harder seeds and are less edible. When cut, a lady's fingers leak mucilaginous juice, which serves as an exquisite thickener for stews and soups. Okra has mild, crunchy, an excellent taste when fried, roasted, grilled, sautéed, or pickled. What are the benefits of okra? 1. Okra is good for the gut. Let's get into the big one right away. All vegetables contain fiber, the key nutrient for keeping the digestive system functioning properly, and okra is no exception. The veggie has 3 grams of fiber per cup. But that's not the only reason it's good for the gut. Okra can take on a slippery texture. This substance actually helps coat the lining of the gut when you eat it. 2. It's a super source of vitamin A. One serving of okra has almost all the vitamin A you need for an entire day. It packs 716 micronits per cup when you want to aim for 900 micronits. This is good for both eye health and the immune system. So if you're staring at a computer all day, definitely keep okra in mind as a good veggie to work into more of your meals. 3. Okra is a beneficial food for people with IBS. When someone is dealing with irritable bowel syndrome IBS, symptoms on a regular basis, they are hesitant to eat fiber-rich foods. Okra is a great vegetable for people with this hesitancy because it doesn't have fermentable fiber, which can be an irritant to people with IBS. So if cruciferous veggies like cauliflower and Brussels sprouts are causing some gut issues for you, Try upping your okra intake until a registered dietitian can help get you back to eating a wider range of veggies. 4. Okra contains calcium. Besides being good for the gut, eating okra will also benefit your bones. This is because it has calcium, specifically 82 mg per cup. You want to aim for 1000 mg of calcium a day. So okra likely won't be your primary source of the nutrient, but every bit helps. 5. It has has iron. Another nutrient many may not know that okra has is iron. Similar to calcium, it doesn't bring enough to the table to be considered a primary source of the nutrient, but it's still noteworthy, especially for people who eat a primarily plant-based diet and need to be extra mindful of their intake. 6. It's good for immune health. Between the cooling temperatures and looming arrival of prime flu season, who isn't trying to get more vitamin C right now? Good news, okra has 23 milligrams of vitamin C per serving. This means it's linked to benefiting the immune system. Just be mindful of the fact that some of the vitamin C is lost when cooking okra, so the actual amount of it you'll get is lower than what you may think. 7. Okra is full of antioxidants. All fruits and vegetables are high in antioxidants, and okra is no exception. Antioxidants are what protect the body from free radicals we encounter through the environment. Exposure to these toxins breaks down cell DNA over time. So when you fill up on foods high in antioxidants, you're helping your body fight these toxins off and protect against chronic inflammation in the process.